Oh, hi there. Uh, this is just an update video regarding the uh, enclosure modification I did for this uh, CPB 30A1 dummy load. Uh, okay, so it's been running for maybe more than an hour right now. Uh, drawing 2 amps as you can see from my power supply. So you see it already has about 13 watt hours of uh, uh, power uh, already drawn. So it's just uh, running off my power supply here. And uh, it seems uh, everything seems good. Uh, I painted the uh, enclosure uh, of white uh, so you can see it will fit nicely uh, with my other uh, gadgets right here so uh, I think it's pretty good uh, seems to be working fine uh, I'll uh, give you more details on what I did and uh, how I assembled this uh, project uh, so far uh, looks good so I'll just uh, uh, set the camera and then uh, I'll show you uh, what's uh, inside this and how I modified this project Okay, so here's the completed uh, uh, enclosure for the ZPB 30A1 dummy load. As you can see, I just spray painted the enclosure white or off white, so it will go along with my other uh, gadgets here in the lab. Uh, One thing to note is that I here's the back. I already provided it with a built-in power supply, so it directly plugs to the AC mains. I just uh, use some old uh, uh, laptop adapter for that. Uh, yeah, I'll show you what's inside or how it was connected when we open this up, and. Uh, uh, here's the uh, exhaust fan right there so there's the bottom you have the, I just installed this four rubber feet to help secure the unit uh, these are the screws holding the main board and then these screws for the power supply so for the layout I just uh, added a power switch course the load uh, uh, terminals are um, I just installed uh, an old uh, style uh, jack or banana jack for that then uh, for the display there's not much uh, change in the assembly it's just uh, the voltage jumper are and what are display on top and then the amperage or amperes at the bottom also for the LEDs I did uh, retain this uh, four LEDs right there but for the uh, I just want to call it a multiplier or uh, like a course and fine adjustments for this uh, settings or for this display I just uh, relocated those at the bottom right here and then run status LED also uh, for the start stop uh, button I used a larger tactile switch right here and uh, I used the same uh, key encoder right here so it's uh, still uh, push button then you rotate to select and all so for this one I just uh, provided a 12 volts uh, 3 ampere power supply that uh, will be enough for my intended use uh, though power uh, 
usage and all but the power supply is actually capable of uh, up to 3 amps and this unit is capable of up to uh, I think 10 amps so but for the power supply uh, that will be enough for my intended use okay so for the front panel I just uh, uh, did some measurements, uh, did ballpark the displays and all. Then I made a simple PowerPoint uh, layout. Okay. Uh, did uh, some, uh, in, uh, you know, basic writing and stuff, indicators and all. Then I have, I printed it and have it laminated. So as you can see, it's like. Uh, the display have a glassy look but that's actually a laminated plastic right there uh, nonetheless I think it looks good um, I have some stains right here uh, that's a mistake from uh, super glue and all but this is uh, I can uh, replace this uh, uh, quickly enough, uh, maybe I can just uh, reprint another version of this with uh, uh, colored uh, displays and all. But yeah, but, mm, we'll see. Anyway, let me just uh, quickly show you the inside of the unit. So it's just uh, held in by four screws right here. So so we open this up. Like so. So there you go. So there's not much uh, to it, not much uh, modification for the 10-pin uh, header here. I just provided a ribbon cable going up to the display. And then the LEDs are just uh, manually... Uh, for the LEDs I relocated, I just manually wired it underneath the board. As you can see right here. Uh, this is the power supply module. I actually removed it uh, from its uh, enclosure since this is a power supply for an old laptop. So this power supply is uh, rated at 3 amps but I only intend to use this uh, module for small, small signal or small current application. So I rated it actually for 2 amps only but uh, it can go to 3 amps maximum uh, based on this power supply okay so basically it's just uh, the wiring is just straightforward uh, here's the output going underneath the board and this to this uh, terminal plugs uh, the power supply right here uh, the main power supply is just uh, wired directly on the front panel switch uh, and uh, that's it so uh, this looks good uh, I've run it already for maybe more than an hour uh, using my power supply and the ventilation here is quite good as uh, you can see uh, we have uh, the case has uh, ventilation holes right here and underneath the power supply so uh, as the fan blows uh, air in the unit so it goes out right here and underneath the power supply that's also providing some thermal uh, release or thermal relief from this uh, power supply module so after an hour uh, everything looks good uh, it's nice and uh, nice and warm but not uh, it still uh, feels uh, cold to the touch and uh, just right so I think uh, uh this will be good for my intended use okay so that's it um, i think this will uh, go uh really nice on my bench and uh, i have some or i'll have some good use for it uh there you go bye